joining us on this Tuesday. I'm Angelina Zarnecki. Coming up, a startup is aiming to replace traditional wire harnesses. But first, your morning headlines. We'll begin with an update about the burning cargo ship carrying about 4,000 Volkswagen Group vehicles. A port official saying that the fire has lost intensity because there is probably little left to burn. The ship is carrying VWs, Porsches, Audis, Bentleys, and Lamborghinis. It caught fire in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean on Wednesday. The 22 crew members on board were evacuated and are safe. Two large tugboats with firefighting equipment were expected to arrive today. U.S. economist Patrick Anderson estimates the initial loss could be as high as $335 million. Staying with the VW Group, the automaker is preparing an initial public offering for Porsche. VW saying today that the two sides have negotiated a framework agreement for an IPO. The agreement must be approved by the management board and supervisory board, and a final decision has not been made. Bloomberg estimates that Porsche could be valued as high as $96 billion. Elsewhere, Ford CEO Jim Farley says the Ranger Raptor will come to the U.S. next year. He announced the move in a tweet on Monday. Enthusiasts have been clamoring for the mid-size performance pickup since Ford reintroduced the Ranger to North America for the 2019 model year. Ford unveiled its next-generation global Ranger Raptor earlier today. And Mercedes-Benz expects to have factories producing only electric vehicles by the second half of the decade. However, an executive telling Reuters that the luxury automaker will steer clear of building EV-only plants. Instead, Mercedes wants to keep production lines flexible so it can adapt to market demands. As of 2025, the automaker expects its electric and hybrid electric vehicles to make up 50% of sales. Last year, that figure stood at 11%. Today's Tech Tuesday features a startup with a product that aims to replace traditional wire harnesses. Cellink closed a $250 million funding round last week, backed by its previous investors, BMW i Ventures, Lear Corporation, Robert Bosch Venture Capital, and 3M. The California-based startup says it has developed new methods of connecting battery cells and packs and transferring power and data across vehicle sensors, modules, and electronic control units. Ford invested in 2019, but skipped the latest round. Overall, the company has raised about $315 million. Cellink said the latest funds will be used to build a 300,000 square foot manufacturing facility in Georgetown, Texas, set to open later this year. Looking at the tech, the flex harness can combine the functions of several traditional wiring harnesses, which could, according to the company, significantly reduce weight, mass, and cost. Co-founder and CEO Kevin Coakley saying, quote, these investors share in our belief that the traditional wire harness industry needs to be disrupted in order for the transition to electric vehicles to fully occur. Coakley says the product is in quote, hundreds of thousands of EVs. And while he declined to specify which vehicle manufacturers are using Cell Link's flex harnesses, Tesla is the only US car maker that has produced that many EVs. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at first underscore shift. We'll see you tomorrow.